Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have a big update. Actually, uh, very early this morning around uh, 1 a.m. So uh, we have a big update on uh, Android version, the uh, English version. I mean the other places like Taiwanese and Russian, whatever, they already have the update but uh, for some reason it's pretty late here in the U.S. Uh, I don't, I don't know reason. Maybe they try to milk us uh, more before they give us a big update. But anyway, uh, it's this this update is huge. I mean, they add like a whole bunch of stuff. Two brand new heroes, a whole bunch of uh, uh, events, and uh, lost realm in, improving uh, lost realm and crest, new crest system, and all kind of stuff. You know what? In this video, in this episode, I'm gonna cover those things. It's gonna be uh, quite long, so stay with me. Uh, the first thing is that when I log in, you know, I, I see the screen already, uh, which means that I get, I bought uh, 300,000 gems already. So uh, instantly, you know, I get them. I get them for free. And uh, when I open them up, uh, this is what I get. One out of five scatter. Well, that's that's horrible. But you know, let's let's go into a game. Let's go into his game and see uh, uh, my current destroyer right now. Okay, so there he is, right in the outer. And I have leveled him up to a star. Yeah, that's right. And I do some uh, talent reroll, but I didn't have uh, much luck, so I already be able to get to our five slowdown and um, I use all my shard to get him up to five nine but uh, and, and his inscription right now is level 47 level 2 tenacity <clears throat> eventually I'm gonna change that up maybe with a uh, berserk or something like that berserk or bulwark but uh, right now I don't have a complete set of bulwark for him I just have a like, random sets and stuff like that so uh, basically the, the, the destroyer let's look at his skill so right now I'm at the 5 out of 9 deal 270 percent so and stun enemy for 1.4 seconds so basically each skill you move up you get a point one point tenth of a second improvement so so the next skill 6 out of 9 you get like uh, 1.5 second stun and um, the attack uh, boost speed I think uh, you get 5% for each level you go up so right now it's level 30, 30% and deflect 30% damage on next level you get uh, 35% and 35% damage so yeah that, that's how it goes and um, the high level you go the lower the cooldown right now it's cooldown 7.2 seconds which is uh, which is pretty bad considering um, Minotaur cooldown is like only 6 seconds so so this guy will be uh, like you know way good when he's 9 of 9 because at 9 of 9 he's only uh, have 6 second cooldown and you know his Skill pretty much max. In, in turn up uh, movement speed, he's slightly faster than Minotaur. Minotaur speed is uh, 170 at level 1, and this guy is uh, 180 at level 1. So, yeah, he is a little bit faster, but his attack speed is the same as, as Minotaur, which is pretty slow. So, if you have like some kind of Berserk skill, you roll like a high Berserk skill, just put on this guy. Or if you have Berserk quest, put it on this guy. Even if you have a sprint quest, crest, I mean crest, put it on this guy because uh, he's not that fast either. He's just slightly faster than Minotaur. So, and um, his HP is, uh, I think it's below Orc's Bane. HP is below Orc's Bane and higher than Minotaur. So, 
sort of speak, you know, this guy's like between uh, Minotaur and Orc Spain in terms of uh, ground troop, but his skill is is quite different, quite different from the rest. Uh, you don't have uh, any uh, skill quite like him in this game, and uh, I'm gonna show that to you guys. We're gonna do some dungeons and see how he fare up against the dungeons. Uh, let's go to the uh, lower dungeons. He's 8 star, so it's not gonna be that bad. Uh, I think he can take this on. Let's see. Let's go for that assassin right there, okay. Alright. Um, he also have a 5 of 5 life drain. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. I still have a cold. So yeah, he has five five life drain. He can much heal himself up right now. It's pretty slow. You see, he got, he's about to proc right now, and pretty much everything around him get destroyed. But his uh, his range is uh, very limited, much like uh, Vlad and uh, Imhotep. The range is pretty limited to the surrounding, unlike Minotaur. When Minotaur procs, like everything's like just get destroyed, you know, all ground unit, most of ground unit in a way. And the Minotaur has uh, more target than this guy does. This guy have like a limited target compared to Minotaur, but it seems that uh, he have a reasonable high amount of target. The thing about him versus Minotaur is that he can target both ground and air unit so he is pretty uh, useful for uh, quite a few mode uh, where Minotaur can only useful for a certain mode but uh, for HBM I think uh, Minotaur is, uh, is, is pretty good I mean if if you don't have anything else better than uh, Minotaur uh, you don't have anything good like uh, Vlad or Santa, I mean, and then you have Minotaur and Destroyer. I mean, just throw him in there. I mean, he's really good. Uh, so that's Dungeon, and let's see how he fare off uh, in raiding. Okay. Look like uh, this base we're gonna go head on. Just him and Pumpkin Duke. Let's see, speed them up a little bit. Throw a flat in there. Watch this. You're gonna destroy everything. There you go. Yeah, well, he did destroy like half of the base, but yeah, Vlad just steal the show. I mean, Vlad is still like the king of uh, everything. You can use Vlad for pretty much everything these days. But Destroyer, uh, it needs time, you know. It needs time. And you need to get his skill to uh, pretty high. And uh, one one other thing that I use Destroyer for, and I see myself replacing Minotaur in place of Destroyer is uh, Lost Realm because in Lost Realm Minotaur only target ground troop and sometimes you had those uh, an flying enemies you gonna need uh, destroyer instead and uh, one new thing one new update that IGG made is this uh, letter question mark which appear for like 24 hours so each 24 hour you get like one one chance to go over there and go into merchant that's a new thing and you can buy all these with uh, gold and uh, gems uh, one thing I seem to buy a lot is uh, the chest the uh, blue crystal I mean it's pretty good but once you exit the uh, question mark it's pretty much gone there you go see uh, 
so make sure you have enough gold before you go in like you know farm do some raiding get some gold and uh, before you go in so you can buy all that stuff with gold so I can see right now there's gonna be a shortage of gold everywhere people are gonna be scrambling to get gold the reason I didn't buy the silver key because I got a few key myself and uh, there's two new things to Lost Realm it's a uh, Lost Realm boss which you can uh, invite a friend to do battle with you to uh, take down the boss but I haven't quite got there yet and another and there is another thing I forgot what that was uh, you're gonna find out soon you know I'm going to just gonna do a few fights uh, basically when you finish fighting enemy it gives you the option to buy more uh, blue crystal and stuff like that as you can see uh, I can easily take out enemies with uh, destroyer and I replace a uh, minotaur with destroyer although my minotaur is high level but this destroyer is more useful because he 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 can stun both ground and air. And his HP is uh, better in a way. His attack is better too, better than Minotaur. Minotaur attacks pretty low when you think about it. Okay, I haven't encountered that team yet. The team with the boss. Yeah, I got a rare crest. Now you see destroyer right here. Basically, my team right now is like a perma stun team. Come on, it depends on a group that you're facing. Sometimes I give you like a reward, you can open chests for a certain group. Well, it's hard to explain it unless you counter that group. Let me go do a couple more fights and see if we can uh, find that, that group and may maybe that boss. I want to see that boss. Also, uh, the destroyer also have a, his skill also deflect damage, so that's pretty awesome. That's great if you use, uh, if you use it for a tank. Okay, I need to refuel my stamina. I have plenty of stamina card that I haven't used yet. Where is it? Where is it? I have 17 stamina card. We also have a new hero, the shards hero, Siren. That's her name. But uh, I don't, I don't find myself using that a hero, so I'm not gonna go for that hero. I mean, I can see a use for that in Lost Realm and in Mesa because uh, uh, the when that uh, hero procs. It uh, you know it makes a uh, enemy more like you you can do more damage to that enemy than uh, you were to attack it regularly. Basically, you debuff the enemy. Okay, so we just uh, finished fighting an enemy, and uh, we have an option for this. As you can see, you know you need to save your goal. Oh man, I just missed that. I want that. The Berserk Quest, Crest, 1.5 million gold, who, who wouldn't know, you know, who wouldn't know that gold is so desirable now. Let's see. So we haven't encountered that. We haven't encountered that boss yet. I'm not sure if that boss has like a certain time frame. It's a random event in Lost Realm.
So uh, you basically you have to fight off all these enemies in order to for the boss to show up. But he's kind of random, just like what last round before, where you have that team with two Pumpkin Duke and like two Minotaur and two Spirit Mage. It's kind of like that. It's kind of randomized, I guess. I could be wrong, but uh, to see the update, you can go to IGG forum and look for Castle Clash and in the news section you can see the updates like they list everything out for you so you can go in there and read all the information I mean there's, there's a ton of stuff okay so I just fit defeat that enemy and now I have the option to buy again so you guys see that I mean you need to save up some gold now I need to save up some gold Okay, let's open these two chests and, and let's go out and do other stuff and talk about other stuff, other update that uh, IGG made for this game. So, so that's Lost Rim. I mean, I haven't encountered the boss yet, but if I do, I'm, I'm sure going to invite my one of my buddies. He have a Minotaur and Pumpkin Duke and Cubit. Okay, as you can see, I don't have enough gold for uh, Lost Rim, so one of the strategy is you know, to max out your gold and go in Lost Rim. And each time you uh, finish buying a, an award, go back out, do some more raid, get some more gold. And how is the destroy fair up against the expeditions? Well, I have done a few expeditions already. Right now, I'm on the last L10. I'm gonna let you see how he's gonna do against expedition. Basically, uh, it's like Minotaur. I don't, I don't use them a lot for expedition. Depend on the base. Uh, see this base right here? Yeah, you can use a story for this kind of base. But uh, for this kind of base, I always use Ares. Ares and uh, was that Grizzly Reaper? They both target the enemy heroes, so I can take them out quick. And then I can drop like uh, the Destroyer, Santa, Cupid, and Pumpkin Duke, and all the stuff. So uh, yeah, this is uh, last round. Let's just let it go for a little while. Drop Pumpkin Duke, speed thing up a little bit. Drop destroy. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. I see the destroyer. Come on. I hate Vlad. He, he can pretty much kill your whole team in one proc. But, but yeah, my, my Vlad proc first. Pumpkin Duke's down, but that's okay. I'm winning. So expedition for me is uh, fairly easy at this point. I mean, it's, it's kind of no challenge for me. So how does the Destroyer fare in HBM? But before we do that, let's go look at the new shorts hero. So um, her name's Siren. She cost 19,999 shards. I mean that is deep, guy. You you can use that same shard to level Pumpkin Duke from seven to eight, almost. You know, seven to eight. So uh, which would you rather do? You know, you buy the new shard hero, or you level your Pumpkin Duke to uh, from 7 to 8 or keep it 7 to 8 or whoever you want from 7 to 8 I mean that's a tough uh, tough tough decision but as you can see the new hero the skill uh, it could be useful you know for 160% attack up to 3 fold in the front and increase the damage taken by 10% so that's what I'm talking about you can debuff your enemy and I give them more damage so I think I think this siren is very good for Mesa Mesa boss I mean 
if I have her, I would definitely use her for Mesa. But uh, since I don't, uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use my basic uh, setup for Mesa. And I often do Mesa with my guild. Uh, just me and one of my buddy with uh, pretty high, pretty high rank. And uh, we can just let anybody in Mesa 3 and Mesa 4, but not too low of a level. But yeah, let's let's go see, uh, do some, let's go do some HBM with uh, the uh, destroyer. Uh, make sure to put some heroes trap. I mean, that's important at this point. The new the new HBM is pretty punishing, you know. The boss at the end could just wipe out your whole team, and a lot of time this hero trap just saved my ass. So you see that spot right there? That used to be Minotaur spot, but yeah, I'm gonna replace Minotaur with the Destroyer. So, so let's see uh, how fair it will go against the uh, HBM. You know what? I haven't done HBM kill yet. Let's go for it. See, fingers crossed, toe crossed. Let's go. So HBM kill right now. Destroyers is going out of base. How you just see that? Center proc and then the destroyer procs. Destroy everybody in the center. Pumpkin Duke right now, he, he just going all over the place. That dude is fast. Especially if you give him like a 5-5 five five Berserk. Man, he goes crazy. But crazy good, you know, not like crazy bad kind of thing. Okay, you see right here. I'm gonna finish uh, wave two. I don't think the first four wave gonna be a problem, but the last one, the last one is always uh, the hardest one. So if you like, you down two hero, there's a good chance that you won't make it to the last wave. There's uh, five wave in total. I know HBMP has a boss on the last wave, but I'm, I'm not sure about this Q. So yeah, the, the destroyer died. I mean, because he's a melee, and a melee is not, is not too good for HBM uh, for a reason, because you know, they just go out to like a large group and they just get ganged up and kill, get killed. So I'm on uh, wave four right now. Oh no. Uh, that's not good. So yeah, Pumpkin Duke's dead. He's melee, so yeah, once in a while he just go out there and act like he's a boss or something. And try to take down like a huge group. Oh come on, come on Vlad. There you go Vlad. There's my boy. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> well, that's, that's to be expected because uh, that's HBMQ, I haven't done that and I kind of figure they're not going to make it because uh, I'm waiting for everybody to get to like 9 star before I I use uh, HBMQ and uh, perhaps uh, bring the destroyer to like 7 of 9 uh, skill so that's that's, uh, that's destroyer and HBM I mean, he's kind of like Minotaur, but he just went out there and died. Let's go in Hero's Trial and see. Since my uh, Destroy doesn't have like a revive, it's not, it's not very good for Hero's Trial. I mean, if you have Revitalized Team, it's very good for Hero's Trial because there's only one wave. But we'll see. Oh, come on, oh, they killed my destroyer. There's Vlad for the win, but he can't win, obviously. 
I mean, if you encounter Grizzly Reaper, it's, it's pretty much a death sentence. That dude can just uh, wipe out your whole team before they even get into your base. And uh, Champion, yeah, sometimes they're pretty good too. They can wipe out your whole team, but I think I can take him on. With, with Minotaur, I can take him on. I don't know about Destroyer. Where's Destroyer? Well, there he is. He's gonna proc right now. There you go. He's like a nuclear bomb going off. But sadly, Destroyer have like a limited targets compared to Minotaur. So, I don't think HBM is good for the Destroyer. Minotaur is still, you know, still balling at this point. So, uh, what's the two best mode for the Destroyer? Let's see, Lost Realm. And what, what's one other one? Uh, perhaps HBM, but uh, his skill has to be high in order for him to be worth it. Right now, it's just uh, mine, just five or nine. It's, it's not that strong. I try to get to seven or nine, and maybe he'll change the game. Right now, I have no idea how many target he targets, but uh, he's like way less than Minotaur. So yeah, that's my review of the Destroyer and the new update. Uh, wait, I got a couple more things and the update. Now you can uh, chat with your friend. But, you know, you can chat with your friend. You can use voice chat with your friend, friend right now. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm just all over the place. Okay, so the game crash. The game crash on me. That's like a first time happened uh, during recording. I'm also experiencing this thing where uh, the video is not synced with the voice. Maybe the phone is slow, or I don't know. So that's one of the things. Also, uh, when you see I'm doing like a raid or whatnot. Um, you, you can see the hero's uh, HP on the bottom. Uh, if you roll back like a couple of minutes, you know, when you see I'm doing like raid, you see the hero HP on the bottom. That's uh, also one of the new updates. And on this new update, they also taken out the the snow theme and put back the green greenery uh, theme for uh, summer. Actually, I like this theme uh, better than the snow because uh, I think they they uh, redone this theme. They yeah, uh, they redone this theme a little bit from uh, last year. So yeah, that's that's a new update. I I'm, I'm thinking I'm missing a few stuff, but you can check out IGG forum and look at the Castle Clash update on April 7, the Android version. And it will give you like all the information there. So that's it for this video. And take care.